the last review we looked at the Biosphera pack, which was actually not awful. But today we'll be looking at the encounter number three, that being Planet Micro. Now, the Planet Micro is a Micromaster planet. So, what do you think we're getting with this? A Titan class? No. Micromasters. So today we'll be looking at this group of Micromasters, micro six of them in total. So yeah, this is going to be a, a little longer review, but these guys are actually pretty worth it. So let's get into it. And here we have all of them in their vehicle modes. And let's talk about the Autobots first. So first we have, uh, what's, uh, I don't, I'll be honest. So these guys are obscure Micromasters, uh, not Micromasters I'm familiar with. So I am reading off of their names. Okay. So here we have Windstorm, Fire Guard, and Roadburner. So yeah, uh, these all look pretty good in my opinion. So my definite favorite is Windstorm. And Windstorm is a curious case because he is from a toy line called Mask, which is like a car toy line. I don't really know too much about it. But this guy was originally from that and this is like a crossover thing because hasbro owns both of them so this is a reference to that and that's why this car mode looks so epic i mean the paint detail is so nice with these things and again i love me some micromasters so this is very very nice and fire garden windstorm so these guys are repaints of the the battle patrol i think that's your name so they can combine to the long thing. And this looks all right, I guess. It's nice to get repaints of these guys, considering they are one of the better Micromasters. But yeah, that's about it for the Autobots. Now, here we have Stinger, Motorhead, and this, this Decepticon is called Runner. But this guy is meant to be G1 Barricade. So, if you guys didn't know, Barricade used to be a Micromaster, and now they got this. And I am so happy to have this, the set complete, the, is it, the, I don't remember, the Racetrack Patrol or something like that. So glad to have these guys complete. I mean, the fact that, you know, I said it in a video, like, that they could easily repaint these to be this. Uh, they are a part of the Racetrack Patrol, and this is the same group that had the original Barricade, and they did not make Barricade, and I really wish they did. I think if they repainted this, they could definitely do Barricade, and they could do the other guy, don't know the name off the top of my head, into this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is awesome. So Barricade is personally the best one in vehicle mode out of the three, but you also got to give credit to Stinger, who is also a mask figure. And yeah, that's about it for Stinger. I do like how this figure looks, but robot mode, I'll explain why I don't fully love this. And Motorhead looks nice. Uh, would have preferred, and this also goes for these guys, maybe a different shade of yellow. I mean, it kind of looks like piss, my piss specifically, so I don't know if that's a healthy shade. But yeah, these two look great. And that's about it for their, all these vehicle modes. So let's go to the transformations. didn't see you there. I have a Discord server. You know, if you post a song request and it's copyright free and I use it in a video, you'll get a shout out. So I highly recommend you do that. The link is right up here and in the description. Go check it out. And here we have the Autobots in their robot modes and they look pretty good. A lot of yellow on these guys. So let's talk about Windstorm first. 
So this is a repaint of Big Daddy or Earthrise Daddy-O. And it looks good. I mean, I would have liked some more paint on the face, like maybe some blue or red eyes, something like that. But the budget went into these flame details and it looks fine. And yeah, so that's about it for posability. Uh, he can move his hand backwards, can, can go punch forward, has a swivel here, cannot, I mean, kind of, let's see how far this could go, can do the splits, and has a knee. So very simple for a MicroMaster. I expect that, you know? This figure does look nice and is my favorite of the set. Now time for these two. Uh, 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 Fire Guard. He is not that bad. There isn't really much to say. I mean, I still love the face sculpt. And I think all this stuff is cool. But my, a, a complaint I do have is... This isn't super accurate to the original Micro Master. I mean, it kind of is. I can't... Like, it's not like I can really see, like, the face too well. But it would be nice to have a fully gray head or something like that, similar to the original. But, again, this is fine. It's just a Micro Master. And for posability, shoulders can go up and down. Can T-pose. A swivel... Not really a swivel. A swivel here. Uh, nothing at the waist. Can kind of do the splits. And a swivel here and with some knee. So yeah, very fine. Uh, these two will have a part to play in a future review, and you're probably a little confused by that, but you'll see. And here we have Roadburner, and again, a repaint. Uh, you can't really move the head on both of these guys too well, but uh, the cannon doesn't really do much. Uh, shoulders can go up and down, can punch forward, nothing at the waist, can do the splits and some knee so everything is perfectly fine and normal with a micro master and some people would argue that these are cheap lazy figures but i think they are fun pocket sized little transformers now time for the downer of the set the decepticons now of course they picked the figures that have the worst trouble standing so let's talk about the mask figure stinger and I mean, I do like the head sculpt, and if you guys don't know, this is a repaint of uh, Trip Up from the Hot Rod Patrol set, and doesn't look that bad. Um, of course, the screw is a little distracting, but I do like the how the silver gives little accents to the arms, kind of also goes with the face and chest detail, but again, very fine. Uh, shoulder, hands could go all the way around, that, like punch forward, has a swivel here, can kind of do the splits and a knee so yeah that's kind of it for this guy i mean does look fine he does he and uh windstorm don't really need a new head sculpt because they've never been transformers but yeah now time for this fella motorhead while being a very cool figure uh kind of has a problem i mean at least my figure does so we can't really do the Blitz. I'm like super nervous to like do that because uh, it's just, you know, like I'm a, I don't want to break it. And even though I got these figures cheap, like I got a little discount, so I don't want to break my stuff. So he can T pose, has a swivel here, and he would be able to do the splits since his original figure can. But the face sculpt is fine. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> uh, oh, I could also do the kneel down for the American flag pose. So yeah, that's about it. And finally, the best figure of the bunch, well, sec best Decepticon, Barricade. And he, I'm calling him Barricade. Runner, come on, that's a kind of a silly name if you do say so myself. But yeah, that this is Barricade. Looks very nice, but this is where I feel like the new head sculpt should have went into. Like, this looks nothing like the original Barricade head sculpt. And, yeah, it doesn't. So, I mean, the head sculpt is a nice one, but not for this figure. It would have been really nice to get a Barricade head sculpt, but we have a Barricade. We have plenty of Barricades to choose from. I don't think everyone's gonna, gonna pick this up due to the recent news about MicroMasters. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, here we have Barricade, and he looks rather nice. Uh, he can not T-pose. He has a swivel at the waist. He can kind of do the splits, and he has a knee. Not a lot of knee, though. So yeah, 
for plausibility, I'd say he is actually the worst of the bunch. And, yeah, I, I, I gotta complain about this again. The Decepticon ones, they picked molds that do not like standing. And that kind of sucks, in my opinion. But, that's all of these figures. So, let's go into their, uh, their, uh, the card they come with, then their size comparisons. The, this set of figures does come with the Micron card. Got the full Micron Planet card. And here is the the thing. Uh, it's a magna covered planet. And it's a prison. Uh, micro mini cons. So they don't call them micro masters. That's very interesting. Uh, plasma energy generators. That's cool. And advanced military stuff. So if you want to read this, here's it on screen. So let's go to the size comparisons. For size comparisons, here we have the whole set compared with Iron Tread, Blitzwing, Sun Barrier, Paleotrix. Dinobot and Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. And for extras, let's throw in the original Military Patrol, High Rod Patrol, and the Racetrack Patrol. And of course, like all the MicroMasters, they all look great together. So overall, do I recommend this set? Well, you're, you're talking to a biased person who loves MicroMasters, so I say yes. Now, do I recommend it at full price? Uh, if you could get like $5 off, it would be very nice, but... You know, you get what you get, you know? You're paying for MicroMasters. And I will say these guys are fun for me. Now, while these guys are not perfect, it's nice to have the Racetrack Patrol complete. It's nice to have these new additions. And the extra addition of a Military Patrol repaint is nice. So, if you guys really want this, the, this set, he's actually still available on Amazon. So, I recommend picking this up before it goes away eventually. But, that's kind of it for the video. So, if you want them, I say get them. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.